Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am excited to bring you this card where I'm using one of the newly released digital stamps from Rochelle Amamilla. This one is called Starry Night Bears and I just fell in love the moment that I saw it. This release truly has so many incredible images in it and I'm sure that you will love all of them as well. Uh, but for this release week I decided to feature this cutie. Now first of all I I printed it, well I printed the no line coloring version and I'm really sorry for my hat that is going to be in your way uh, from now and then. Uh, also those baby hairs, I don't know how to tame them but they are really <laughs> doing whatever they, they please um, and well so they are there. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but I printed the no line coloring version as I said and that's also one of the reasons why this video is a bit longer because anytime I do no line coloring digital or non-digital um, with my Copics I just need a tiny bit more time as in I need a lot more time to really uh, have all of the elements jump out and give them all a bit of attention. Now something that you also will know is that I, I went outside of my comfort um, concerning the sky area, you might already have seen it in the beginning. Um, it became a little bit of an art piece in my opinion and there are definitely things I can still improve on but I am so glad that I have tried it and that I, and that I continued to get this night sky kind of um, glowing stars and moon um, well to get it on there because um, well you never know how it's gonna turn out when it's your first time trying um, and then this card actually gave me a lot of confidence to try another card with some kind of a glow uh, so that will be coming in the future uh, I have some planned some with a bit more glow than others uh, but you will see that coming um, but yeah I had a lot of fun uh, and I will also tell you uh, some of my secrets, no, uh, no secrets, but things uh, that might be able to help you um, along the way. So first of all, um, as I said, it's an online coloring version and I actually never know where to start with all of it. Um, so I started here with the tiny things, um, but you will see with the grass and stuff, I went over some areas and I just had to go back over those tiny plant areas. I also think if you love to color with pencils this is your time to shine. Uh, with those tiny small pieces that are in this scenery uh, you can really have a lot of fun. Another thing that I wanted to mention was while I was coloring this uh, I first had the idea of really uh, also giving the cave a bit of um, a grey look. In the end I ended up not doing that because I just was afraid that it would like give it sort of a sad tone because there was going to be a lot of grey then. Uh, don't let yourself be hold by that. Uh, I definitely want to try that if I have ever the time to to do this, this kind of colouring again. Um, but yeah, I decided to keep it wide, all of the surroundings, and to really let this illustration, this digital stamp, jump out of the card with all of the colors used, and then that wide um, all around it. For the flowers, I went for purple white, because I thought, while well, the purple might stand out enough with all of the darker colors that I was going to use. And I'm glad that I did, because I really think that... Um, it would not have been visible anymore if I would have done it lighter just because it's this tiny and well. <laughs> um, also, the lovely thing about digital stamp is that you can print it the size that you want. I don't think that I changed the size of this digital stamp, I never recall that. Uh, but if you want to only have a part of this image, you can enlarge it, then the tiny areas will be bigger and easier to color in depending on the medium that you want to use. Um, but these are all advantages. Uh, another thing about digital stamps is while well, I print with a laser printer that helps me, I have never had trouble with watercoloring or copic coloring. Now before I had a laser printer I had just uh, an inkjet printer 
uh, and that worked as well for my Copic markers. I never tried for the alcohol markers, but some of you already mentioned in the comments that that can be perfectly fine. Um, so what I suggest if you are, well, getting convinced about digital stamps like I uh, had to be convinced about, um, there is also a free digital stamp on the Rochelle Anna Miller um, website. It's an adorable one with a giraffe and it's really, really cute and I know that you will love it. Um, if you want to test it out, whether your printer can, well, print a digital stamp on the paper that you like to use and uh, it is good for the medium that you like to use, then just try it with the free one and if that works for you, then there will be a whole world opening for you because there are a lot of digitals out there and personally I'm a big fan of Rochelle Anna Miller as you know um, so definitely then you can check it all out because there are so so many digital stamps and I'm still trying to color all of them at least once because they are just too cute to not use. So here as you saw me coloring the grass uh, I really went over those leaves that I already colored in um, and then I just added the darkest green that I had on top of it uh, to let them stand out again. For the stars and the moon I went on top of it just with one yellow. I'm going to try to create a glow and then all of the other yellow um, kind of markers will come um, and appear for this coloring. Uh, but just to keep it simple I start with one warm yellow tone. Now as you know if you're interested in the coloring or the Copic marker combinations that I used, I have listed them on my blog post. That's an easy reference for you. I try to list it sort of per item that I that I colored in. So you will find the two bears, the rocks, the trees, purple, greenery, night sky and stars all on my blog post. You can always rewatch the video, of course. Um, but yeah, just in case. Now about the background. As I said, this was the first time trying it um, and so I just did something. I started with the stars and the moon and then I went with a light yellow uh, around it and sort of added that glow and then I searched for a really really light blue and I just scribbled a circle around it again and that's my starting point. Now the idea was to add darker and darker blues to really get the dark night sky kind of vibe uh, but I had to sort of have a gradient to evolve to that darker blue so that's why I had this um, B00 to help me as well. So um, as you can see here I sort of started everywhere and then now I'm going to work uh, on each part individually the right part left and the top. Now I skipped the left part because it was completely the same idea as the other parts but I however wanted to show you as much as possible without having uh, a really really long video for you guys so I hope that this already helps you um, but as you can see it's all about circles <laughs> and they don't need to be perfect because a glow of a star is, is every time a bit different and so I, I work my way from the yellow to the lightest blue, then a bit further into the blues and then back to those yellows to really get that transition. Now it's still copy coloring and I am not an expert as I said, uh, but this was an experiment and it was a lot of fun. Uh, although I must admit that I, I contemplated about quitting at a certain point because I didn't know whether it was going to work out or not. I'm happy that I continued, so definitely keep going if you try something new because personally I think we can only evolve uh, from trying things and continuing <laughs> and just, just improving from there. Now here I added my darkest uh, blue marker which was the B99 and then I worked my way back towards the yellows uh, to get the blend everywhere. Um, and just really really slowly. I tried to avoid the bears as you can see here uh, but then later on I went a few times into the ears and stuff with quite dark markers so to fix that I did something different so if you like the end result of my card and don't worry if you go into the, the area of the bears uh, we'll fix it later on, we'll, we'll 
we'll add it on top. Um, so here avoiding all the leaves, it was, well it was quite a process but I, I definitely think it's worth it and I just love 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 this image. I also already printed another one from this release but I don't know with all the Christmas cards that I still have to make <laughs> so there are, there are Christmas cards coming uh, but with all of those cards I, I don't think I will find the time to do it this year but I hope maybe in January or February that I will have the other image colored in uh, with the fireflies you know which one if you saw the release um, I don't know if you're following Rochelle Anna Miller on Instagram, but there she always shows you in the release week the different digital stamps that will be coming out. Uh, today is release day, so if you haven't seen them yet, uh, then definitely just go to the side or wherever, um, and then you can already just enjoy all of the released digital stamps. So here, miraculously, the left side was colored in. I wish it would go like that but um, well it's just to save a bit of time as you can see but I wanted to repeat it however to show you that I actually really exactly did the same thing over and over just building from from my lightest color towards the whole darkest blue marker and then go back yeah it's a bit I don't know if you are like afterwards I was like is this a Picasso and then my boyfriend was like, no, this is more like the Van Gogh um, kind of painting. <laughs> but it's just a marker and it's effects and it's, it wasn't intentional. And it's definitely not exactly like that because those were with all stripes. I think you know which one I'm, I'm, I'm pointing towards. Um, but I actually really like washing this card and just it's sitting here next to me while I, well, I think it's already prepped for you. Uh, three weeks uh, so I have been watching this card for over three weeks now and it's just well it's turning a smile to my face so I I definitely think it was worth to try uh, the glow I don't think you need to do it however because if I would go well if I would have stayed in my comfort zone then I would just have had a really dark night sky with um, with those shining stars and boom just by adding a vibrant color into that dark night sky. Um, another thing that I also think that you can do is if you uh, don't like night sky kind of themes and you print this with the no line coloring version, the ink is really really soft, you could just ignore the stars and the moon I think and just create a lovely sunset if you want to or uh, if you have like these crazy apps and stuff um, or you're really good at um, <laughs> covering or masking off uh, things on digital stamps and you can just mask off the moon and the stars and just create this lovely I would go for a sunset <laughs> I would go for that and just have this really lovely scene where those two bears aren't watching a night sky but completely the opposite um, I think that would be gorgeous as well just just having some ideas <laughs> but if you do please please let me know because I really would love to see it because it's just, I'm doing the voiceover now and it's it just popped in my head. So I would love to see it if any one of you tries that. Because <laughs> uh, I think it would be genius. So here I just kept going back and forth, back into it with the yellows. Um, just until I was happy. There is a lot of marker going on here. So heat sending it from now and then when I think that I sort of got to the oversaturating point. Uh, of the paper and then just continuing. You can also leave it aside and just let it dry for a while and let the paper rest a bit and then come back in with your markers if you think that that can help. Um, but this really was a joy. So for the rocks I tried to have the light source <laughs> come from well the night sky so the rocks are to the edges more dark than uh, towards the opening of the cave um, so that's what we're seeing here but I must admit at first I had no clue what I was doing um, so here I just removed a bit of a darker color and I just went in with a warm grace as I said in the beginning my first initial idea was to mask then everything off and then do a bit of um, ink blending just with 
um, my distress inks. You can also go completely with the markers, of course, but still a bit out of the comfort zone. And I went already out of that zone. I, I wasn't going to completely uh, abandon the zone, you know. Um, so if I would have added more color, it was with my distress inks, definitely. So here I'm trying to create a depth and also have those shadows. Then those tiny rocks, I truly love those little elements that Rochelle and Miller always adds. She's genius. And you know it. You know it as much as I know it. Um, so here, really those tiny areas, those tiny baby hairs as well. <laughs> well, we get over it. So again the same, but now from the other side. And here I found it really handy to just do some flicking. I also think that with the circular motions and not being able to flick over there that I sort of had had it and just wanted to flick this time. <laughs> it also helps with the blend. It helps me to get a quicker blend that I like. And also for the rocks I think it gives something rustic, if you know what I mean. If you do it on critters then that can be, be a bit more furry and fluffy and stuff like that. So that's something that I also like doing on critters. And then once I was happy with, well, everything except the bears, I saw that I went quite a bit uh, into the area of the bears with the blue markers. Um, it's a really dark marker, so I thought, well, with all of the darkness, just having the colorless blender help me was going to be a bit tricky. So I printed it again, and now I fuzzy cut those bears out. <laughs> And then, well, I first wanted to try it like this to be sure that I was able to fussy cut it. Um, and, well, it, I succeeded. Uh, so then it was time to color in those bears as well. I went for a lighter one and a darker one. Um, just to help me again with, um, well, sort of really showing that there are two bears. It always helps if you have two, two colors uh, or two combos for that. And I sort of did the same as with the rocks. So for the bear on the right, I added the shadows on the right. And for the bear on the left, I will add the shadows on the left. Um, so that's what I did. This one is really, really light. It's my favorite light brown combination. Um, and then the other one, I went darker, but still warm brown. And here you can see the flicking. I personally find it helps with the the fur of critters um, but you do you of course I also go from darkest to lightest you saw it throughout the coloring except for of course that glow I think it helped me to first establish the glow and then um, work towards the darker um, area but I still also have to figure that out so I maybe that changes I don't know and then here onto the other brown color combination. Again, if you want to see all the markers that I used, um, you can go to my blog post. I am linking towards that in the description box and you will easily find all of those combinations. And isn't this one so cute? I just, I love this image. I'm also curious to know which one was your favorite? If you had another favorite from this release, definitely leave it in the description box. You never know what I will make in the future. Maybe I can take it along with me while deciding on my digital stamp that I will color in next. So once I had that coloring done, I also decided to just in case um, you could see underneath it because I was going to use some thin foam squares to add a bit of the same browns of the bears just on the edges of the um, bears in the scenery. Uh, nothing fancy, just adding the darkest color just in case. And then I had to figure out what I was going to do with this card because as you know I don't plan ahead of time. Sometimes I know this I want to combine together but I have no clue how I am going to combine things. 
Um, so here again I just started coloring and then once the coloring was done I had to figure out what kind of card it was going to be. So first of all I decided to use the A2 layer die from Waffle Flowers to give me an A2 sized card panel. Um, it's really handy to have a few basics. Um, lately I've been using this one a lot. Uh, so it's really close by and well you take quickly the things that are just next to you so and then for the sentiment i took this fussy hugs stamp set from mama elephant and you have this gorgeous sentiment that says you are loved and i just think it's incredible the hug from the bears and then the night sky and just a really lovely scene um so i stamped it using some black ink and then it was time to adhere my bears on top of this panel i'm using some thin foam squares from scrapbook adhesives and then I'm making sure to line it up straight on top of the ones in the, well, on my panel. So I'm covering it completely, you know why, I'm just frantic that it's going to be bulked through mailing and you just put so much effort into your card that just, I'm just adding foam everywhere. <laughs> like that. And now you can choose whatever you are going to do. I decided to keep it like this and add it onto a card base. Uh, but you can definitely add some embellishments if you want to, again, uh, create the whole scenery by adding the colors wherever I left it white. Um, I decided, however, to go onto the stars with my white jelly roll pen there where I had just like a gray star. It's not that it's really visible what I did here, uh, but well, I added it anyway. <laughs> Um, and then this is my card. I just love this image and I am really glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone. I hope that I can encourage you to do the same and just try something new maybe and just see wherever it leads you. Um, so this was my card. Um, I'm not an expert but I had a lot of fun and I really like how it ended up. I hope that you like it too that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Just leave something in the comments and I will be get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you all for stopping by and I wish you an incredible day and I'll be back soon. Bye!